Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So in today's video we're going to be going through an e-commerce website project. So without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started. So what, what exactly is an e-commerce website? So an e-commerce website is typically involving in designing and developing a website that allows a business or businesses to sell products or services online. Now there's a couple of steps that are involved in an e-commerce project. So here are some of the key and vital steps. So of course starting off with the very very first one there which is planning and research. So that's pretty much the first step in an e-commerce website is to define the business goals, the target audience, what the user needs. Of course this may be involving in user research and creating user personas and defining user stories. Now on top of that as well, this is also pretty much where you would think about your design perspective as well. So I know this is point two, but this is when you, you have to start thinking about the foundation of what your website's gonna be, how it's gonna look, how it will present itself towards the visitors. But anyway, with the design, so of course once the goals and the user's needs are met or defined, then the next step is to create the design for the website. So of course that involves creating wireframes, you've got mockups, you've got prototypes to define the layout, you've got user interface, user experience for the website. So quite a lot of uh, factors to complete when setting up a website. Now, as well as that, uh, you want to make sure that you're creating something nice and modern, as, uh, especially for the user interface and the user experience of the website. Next one there is the development. So after the design is approved, the development phase begins. So this involves coding the website using front end and back end technologies such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then You've got your server side as well, which is PHP or Python. Now the website should be optimized for performance, security and accessibility, meaning, you know, make sure that it's optimized for the different devices used. Make sure it's nice and secure with the plugins used, especially if you're using WordPress and then as well as the accessibility. Now, if you don't have much knowledge on the HTML or any of the coding site at all, you can go ahead and use some of the website builders like Wix, Squarespace, uh, Weebly, anything like that. They are uh, also very, very good for website building uh, on e-commerce sites. Uh, another one that I know as well, which is Shopify. So that's purely e-commerce based. Uh, so on top of that, then next one there is the content creation. Now. An e-commerce website project also involves creating content such as product descriptions, you need your images, videos. You got to make sure that you name your images and videos correctly as well for SEO. So that's one uh, step to consider later on um, in the steps. Uh, SEO is search engine optimization. It's very, very important for ranking traffic for the website as well. Now. Once you've got your content in, uh, the as I've said, the content should be optimized for search engines and should align with the website's brand and user experience. Then reeling more into the SEO, that just means you've got your involvement with checking out the ranking for each page. That's something you should do. So that moves us straight on to testing. So once the website is developed and the content is created, it's important to test the website thoroughly to ensure that it's functioning correctly and meets the user's needs. Now, this may involve user testing, functional testing, and performance testing. Number six would be the launch. Now, after the website has been tested and any issues have been resolved, that's when you can um, launch that website. Now this involves making the website live and ensuring that it's accessible to users. Then number seven would be maintenance. Now once the website is launched it's important to monitor and maintain the website to ensure that it's running smoothly, it meets the user's needs, as well as that you should update content 
fix the bugs and optimize for performance. Now, if you're looking to optimize performance, you've got the likes of uh, Lighthouse, um, which is able to optimize the uh, performance for each page or the actual site itself overall. So what we'll do now is, as well as the fact that we've covered the fact that you can use some, uh, or well, you should use uh, the sort of development tools for creating a website like Visual Code, Visual Studio, you got WordPress. There are the likes of other platforms that you can use as well, which is Wix, Squarespace, or Shopify. We'll go ahead and take a look at some of the different um, website builders online and we'll see how you'd be able to create a website or an e-commerce based website out of them. Now starting off with our first one here which is Wix. Now Wix is a very very great website builder platform for e-commerce as well. Now I know it says uh, blank website templates but we can search for e-commerce websites as well so if we just search up e-commerce, it'll give us something close to the templates that we want. Now, it actually directed us to businesses and services, and it shows us some of the different businesses available, like consulting and coaching, services, maintenance, advertising and marketing, technology and apps, real estate, finance and law, automotive cars, and so on. There's quite a few different options there that you could choose, depending on the category of your business. Now. It's very straightforward, all you would need to do is just select a template. As you can see, there's a couple of different options there for a template. Now, if you didn't want to go for that sort of template there, you can choose for a blank template and select any of the ones from scratch all the way down to overlapping layout. Now, some of these will have a cart and some of them won't, but you can add them on using the uh, settings or the app store or app features within the Wix. Now these are the sort of plans that are available for Wix. Now as you could see uh, you would be starting off with upgrade your site with a premium plan and we've got ones there for uh, VIP, unlimited combo and connect domain but we would more be looking towards the e-commerce plans which we'll go ahead and select. And as you can see, we've got Business VIP, you've got Business Unlimited, and Business Basic. Now, it's easy to compare them with the actual comparison uh, graph below. You can see which one's tick, which one isn't. You, you can see all the different features as well. So it's worth to check out the plans for this. So that's another really popular uh, platform to use, which is um, this website builder Wix. So I would highly recommend to use it for e-commerce. Now another really really good platform to use is Squarespace, now they offer an e-commerce site things as well. Uh, as you can see they've got restaurants, uh, so if I did collect on the, uh, click on that one, they've got professional services as well. Quite a couple of different options in terms of this. Uh, let's see, if we select for online store, which is technically e-commerce, as you can see there's quite a list of different templates to choose from. So if I did select for the Lexington one. We'll go ahead and check this one out. Uh, gives you a little tutorial to start there. And you can get started. As you can see, they've got an area for commerce or e commerce. And it'll basically ask you where you would uh, sell. So, my own website, Facebook, Instagram. Um, currently not selling so it'll ask you a pretty much a, like a questionnaire uh, make sure you just answer all of them and then this is where you could set up your store so you've got your products you've got your payment subscription and of course the membership so you've got you could choose whether you want to be a digital um, or fully digital sort of business you could be a physical business have gift cards membership scheduling and so on so there's quite a couple of different options there now when it comes to it, uh, it's an easy website builder to use, far, uh, fairly the same as Wix. So again, if you don't have much coding knowledge with site building, no fear, you've got the website builders available online to help you out. Now, checking out the actual subscription plan for the e-commerce side of things, you would more be 
railing towards the business or the commerce basic or advanced. You can't really use the personal one as you won't be able to sell on it. Now you could do a, uh, you could see the comparison graph below, which one's tick, which one isn't. And what's great about this is it even offers quite a couple of things like abandoned cart recovery, uh, which Wix doesn't offer. Uh, limited available availability labels. Uh, you also get a free domain. So everything is pretty much set up uh, for you uh, with database SQL. So you don't really need to worry about uh, adding orders back end side of things. Um, so that's what makes website builders great. Now, as I said, you can use the likes of other website builders as well, like Shopify and you got Weebly. And of course, I'm sure I'm missing other website builders out there as well. Uh, or you could create one from hard co code scratch uh, using Visual Code or Visual Studio. So those are really good options as well. But guys, that pretty much reaches the end of the video. So overall, an e-commerce website project involves a lot of planning. You have a lot of design process, development process and testing. It's always important to work closely with stakeholders and users throughout the project. Make sure you're working with a client, make sure you're working with the developers. Uh, or if you're a developer yourself, then work closely with the clients. Ensure that the website always meets um, the business goals and user needs. So guys, uh, hopefully this has set a foundation for yourselves on starting off your business online and building a website on there. If you guys have any questions at all, please do leave them in the comment section below. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Good luck for your website and uh, have a good one.